So in this video, I'll show you how to use OpenAI's Whisper Text to Speech um, um, API called with Python uh, for longer text. And so if you if you use the standard approach, standard approach like uh, here I have my API key. You um, I will like remove uh, the IP API key after this video, so. Uh, uh, it won't be valid anymore. Uh, you can, uh, I create a client, like an OpenAI client, I connect it with my API, API key and then I open like, like a large text file that I have just used. It has mu much more than 4096 characters. I read the whole in file and then I do the uh, text to speech uh, model and I stream the output to, 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 to the output file. But if I do this with a large file, I get the following error message, ensure this value has at most 4096 characters, right? So I can only uh, generate speech from text files that are that have less than 4096 characters. But oftentimes we have, we want to, for instance, create lo longer videos and stuff. So for instance, I just on the Finkster channel, by the way, give us a like, subscribe to the channel. I just uploaded this Atlas Shrugged video that is uh, that where we have a speech recognition uh, text to speech um, output for for a longer text from the book atlas atlas shrugged so you see like 4096 characters would be like this position let's make this a bit smaller here at the bottom you see how many characters uh, this is like 4215 so here we are already um uh, larger than the character limit, the maximum character limit, and we have many more. So if you want to do like this kind of uh, text, and here you can see the whole output. Have you ever asked what is the root of money? Money is a tool of exchange, which can't exist unless there are goods produced and many. Okay, so the voice is uh, quite good, right? Um, if you want to do uh, these kind of things, then you need to do a little trick and I will show you the little trick. And I will also give you access to this, uh, to this interactive notebook, to this Jupyter notebook, so you can simply copy it in your own Google account and uh, use your own API key and upload your own text uh, to simply repeat what I'm doing. Okay, so here we have the script. Uh, we use the OpenAI and OS library. We, we use the pathlib library and we um, use um, actually, let me scroll down here, the PyDub library to combine the audio files. And what we basically are, uh, do is we first split the text into chunks in, in this function and then we um, store the chunks in a, in a text, like doing text to speech using the same approach, approach I showed you before on the smaller chunks and then we process basically this one we don't even need and uh, then we simply process a larger text, text file by first splitting it into uh, into 4096 character chunks and then performing the text-to-speech recognition on these chunks and after being done with the whole for loop so going over all chunks we basically combine the audio files um, using this combined variable where we, where we append the audio files and we export, export them in mp3. So uh, sounds complicated but you actually don't need to understand all of this. You can simply check out uh, the model. So let's have an ex let's have an, have an example run. It will take some time but you can also scroll, scroll up. So the whole text here is like 14,200 characters. So let's make it a bit uh, shorter just for just to show how it would work. So let's make it say two chunks, right? So 6,000 characters. So if you would run this text, then it uh, would basically not work. So, uh, but we, but of course with our chunked approach, we can, we can make it happen. Okay, what we are doing is we take the file and we simply pull the file, you can see here, into, the, into our runtime in a, in a minute, right? Um, but first we need to like open up, open the folder connect with the runtime so now it has connected now we take our file our atlas atlas file we pull it here right so we simply drop it drop it here and wh where do we access this file now so if you search for atlas 
here here this is where the file name atlas text comes in so this is our input file you can put anything here right in this file so you can put a whole book or so into this file and then create a speech file from the book so you can basically create your own narrating service or something right <laughs> completely automated um and uh, what we are doing next so we, we have now we have this file right and this is basically all we need but we need to first uh, install these libraries as well pip install install openai pip install pydub so this will be pretty quick right now it installs the files and um, let's wait a minute or a few seconds okay so now it has we can hide the output it has installed those and now we can run the code so if you run this it is now working there doesn't seem to be an error message or so we can see where it currently is like it's currently in speech recognition uh, a text to speech function not speech recognition speech generation function and um, we should see like an intermediary state with with some chunks here as temporary files and then after that we get the whole mp3 so this is really great and as long as as uh, this works now this works for a few seconds let me quickly show you our academy course that is actually teaching you all of this as well um, on the things academy so you can go to academy.things.com we have all these beautiful courses that help uh, you become an ai engineer and create the skills you need to be on the right side of change the skills that really leverage your yourself many times over by means of AI. And if you scroll down, you see voice first development, building cutting edge Python apps powered by open AI whisper. So we, ha um, yeah, we can basically create, this is for whisper is for um, processing or basically speech to text applications. And we also have like text to speech, uh, like for instance, we, how to generate speech with hugging face for free using only open source models is also possible on your own local machine you can use this latest course about hugging face that we have on the Fingster academy and for all those courses you basically subscribe to the Fingster premium membership you get access to all those courses you have as much time as you want as you need to get the course uh, to get through the courses you get your, your personalized pdf course certificates so it's really great for uh, to get jobs to get employments to get freelancing gigs because clients then trust you that you know the skills needed to shine in an ai first world okay and you can, you can see now we are already done output audio saved as combined audio so let's uh, refresh our folder you see it has stored those intermediary chunks and given us the combined audio and um, so let's have a look we double click so you think that money is the root of all evil said francisco de conia have you ever asked what is the root of money okay it looks it will good give you the means for the satisfaction of your desires but it by doing work you despise for purchasers you scorn? If so, then your money will not give you a moment's or a penny's worth of joy. Then all the things you buy will become not a tribute to you, but a reproach, not an achievement, but a reminder of shame. Then you'll scream that money is evil. Evil because it would not pinch hit for your self-respect? Evil because it would not let you enjoy your depravity? Is this the root of your hatred of money? Money will always remain in effect and refuse to replace you as the cause. Money is the product of virtue, but it will not give you virtue and it will not redeem your vices. Money will not give you the unearned, neither in matter nor in spirit. Is this the root of your hatred of money? Okay, beautiful, right? The voice is very beautiful. And now one last thing I wanted to show you. You can even change the voice here. So if you go to... If you scroll up here, we have used the voice shimmer. Um, now you can simply Google OpenAI uh, Voices TTS text to speech. If you go, if you go there to the documentation, um, you see like uh, we have different choices. So we can use we have used shimmer here. This one. Um, 
but you can also use voices alloy echo fable onyx nova and shimmer i will give you a the sun quick... rises in the east and sets in the west in the heart of the city there is a large park where people the library is a quiet and peaceful place this the is... train chugged along the tracks carrying passengers this is basically my favorite voice the onyx in the voice. kitchen the aroma of freshly baked bread filled the air like a light female voice and a shimmer The beach voice. was a popular spot on a hot summer day. A bit darker voice. So I think like um, these are great voices. We currently don't have the voice of um, of her from the movie yet, right? So we, we have only like these six vo different voices, uh, but we can, uh, over time, they will add more and more uh, voices and we can also like, we will also be able to have um, or create our own custom voices, maybe based on our own recordings or so. Okay, so I will give a link uh, to this Jupyter Note notebook in the description below. Please, if you like the video, give me a like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate having you here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.